Hello everybody, welcome to another video on Key Clock Identity and Access Management System. Today I am going to talk about clients. Key Clock Admin Console has a separate section dedicated for client management since it is a vast topic. But in this video, I am going to talk about the basics of clients. Let's get started. These are the topics and concepts that I am going to explain in this video. First, I will explain what is a client in Keyclock. Then I will talk about the types of the clients. After that, I will talk about the client communication protocols. Keyclock supports client communication through both OpenID Connect and SAML. We call them as authentication protocols. Let's get into the content. First, we need to understand what is a client in Keyclock Identity and Access Management System? Clients are entities that can request authentication of a user. According to this definition, you can understand clients can request the authentication of a user from Keyclock system. Keyclock is the one which is responsible for authenticating the user. In order to authenticate a user, Keyclock might ask a username, a password, also some additional properties such as OTP. With this information, Keyclock will try to authenticate the user. On successful authentication, Keyclock will provide a JSON object containing the user details to the client application. Because of this, client application is totally free of user authentication process. But the most important thing is, the client application should trust Keyclock server. Let's move on to the next slide. Types of clients. There are two types of clients. Here I have included them as type 1 and type 2. First type is an application that wants to participate in single sign on. This type of applications only need to get a user authenticated through Keyclock and retrieve the user information. Normally, these clients get user information through an ID token. Applications of the second type request access tokens from Keyclock so they can invoke other services on behalf of the authenticated user. On successful authentication, an application might receive an ID token or an access token or both. Let's move into the client communication protocols. Keyclock support both OpenID Connect and SAML protocols for the communication with clients. OpenID Connect is the preferred way since it was designed to be web friendly and work well with HTML5 and JavaScript applications. SAML is a mature protocol but it tends to be a bit more verbose than OpenID Connect. But with Keyclock, developers have the freedom to choose any of the above protocols based on their requirements. With that, we came to the end of this video. Here I have included the references. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.